Says he's here for a bit of a chilled comp. <laughs> yeah, it's just a... 26 years old, really strong in the semi-final round. The only climber to get three tops in the men's category. So two minutes to check out each boulder. Women's number one, then Gaz on the uh, left-hand side of the arena here. Toe, lots of toe hooks, very powerful, lots of shoulder removes. Not many crimps. <laughs> Not yet. Through these boulders earlier on this afternoon when they were rebuilding them. And, and at that point, they were still working quite hard on the sort of final prep of the uh, of the boulder tweaking some footholds here at studio blockmasters this weekend a lot of sort of parkour style inspired moves running jumps skate style what other words can we yeah, use for so from we went out on the mat and we did have a closer look at in the men's slab i have to say this is one of the hardest looking boulders i've ever seen <laughs> in real life remarkably <laughs> Devoid of holds. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a few bad things for your feet and nothing. Women's number three then, Gaz. On the far left-hand side of the studio block wall. In the diagram there, the uh, left-hand wall, pure slab climbing. Absolute opposite of this one. Start facing the crowd, crouched under the roof, and sort of do a power punch to the volume on the underside there of that grey roof section before... Men's number three was the Hollywood. This is supposed to be the women's version of a similar sort of style. Three gigantic volumes on the overlap of this roof here, bringing the wall section on the wall. And men's number three is their opportunity to do a jump. If this works, it will be a bit of an internet breaker. <laughs> jump out to the right to a stab. Going to go on the mats at the same time as somebody who's not... Yeah, what a moment for this German athlete to be able to climb. Smile on his face when he walked out onto that mat. So here we go. Ilya straight into this boulder, number one. Locating the zone. He's absolutely flying off the start line here. Mm. There's a sort of dishy slope that he's just jumped for then, almost a little bit too psyched. Slightly different style for Luchka. So easy to slip on these dual texture volumes. Go down this line where they'll have bad hands, good feet, good feet, bad hands. Bad hands, oh, bad feet. Oh, bad hands, bad feet. Whoa. <laughs> that's, that's the boulder on the right hand side. Both climbers have had their first attempt on these. Let's go back in. A lot of the competition we'll hear at Studio Blockmasters has a really steep start to it. The sort of whole meat of the middle section of this wall super overhanging. So you find a lot of these boulders, they tend to sort of be powerful out the roof and then journey off to the side. There we are, Ooh, that time, so close. Sort of have to be quite specific, root setters were saying, it's a kind of low percentage catch to that sloping hold. It's like a sloping dish, just hidden around the back of that. Screw on volume. Yeah, it was very close to holding that. Maybe the right foot needed to be a little bit further right. Hard to tell. Quite hard to see whether it really did get the sweet spot of the volume. He's got plenty of time on the clock, though. He's time to take a little rest. Yeah, it looked like he's he's come out here in front of the crowd absolutely pumped, but just, just need to dial it back a little bit. Plenty of time. Opportunity just to get some liquid chalk on the hands. Himself a nice chalky hand coverage. Alcohol cools the hand down as well. Here he goes. Third attempt. Oh, yes. Great moment. Once you hit that hold, it's pretty much all over. Elias. Aragada Kruger, 23 from Berlin. What a start. As Lutschka starts to struggle on this upper section. Really deep press up and over the lip.
quite a big move that really do need to get up on that right leg straighten straighten the leg out a bit more and also just 18 both with great IFSC European trill top did make it look pretty durable Rousset is really looking for that left hand to switch to a palm down so that you can get the distance to push into that next slope in volume. Pressing, pressing, pressing with the left hand there. This is nice. This is looking very good. Got to go for the match. Remember, it's not a jug, apparently. Oh, that's definitely true. Yeah. With two minutes, 40 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time there, Fizia. what we say mm. pre-season also also with them being white as well the white holds in the final you don't get to read the shape that well it's not like you've seen a black hold with uh, with white chalk on it showing you the sweet spot these are a little bit harder to read in this color you can see there is texture but you don't really see how good it is that's much better this time it's strong and stable onto that second to last hold oh interesting trying to just dial into the screw hole she just needs to touch two hands in control and the last hole can be anywhere on that volume quite deep screw holes on these volumes up there we've seen a few people using them throughout the semi-final just trying to essentially just reach it oh sorted in the end fumbled around with it for ages just to try and stabilize eventually just pushed into the sloping in for another go, still not got the zone on this boulder. Moment, nothing on the scoreboard for Guillermo at the moment. Pretty much instant replay of every attempt there. Bad start for Guillermo. See how that plays out throughout this round. Mikhail Mauen from France. Absolute legend. Such a cool climber to watch. He's always got a try hard face on him. Solid through that move to the zone. Mikhail Mauen opting for the heel there rather than the toe that we saw from Elias. Really super sloping. Trying to work out a sweet spot on that volume. I don't think there is one. There is friction and texture. But there's no real sweet spot. Oh, look at the techers there. This. The knee breaker. Third attempt. Nice move, shoulder to shoulder. Cross into that toe hook to be able to ride up that sloper and then into the dish. That toe hook is actually quite interesting. Izium wasn't using that at all. Trying to push from low and left. Oh, great stability in the shoulders. Powerful push across those volumes. Oh, really tidy work. Alakaran, absolutely perfect. Must have a good, good concept of what he wants to do on this boulder now. Sort Letting the clock run down, pretty chilled. Go big or go home territory here for Mikhail Mawem. Looks like he's, uh, for a second there, I thought he was going to go for the rock over on the toes rather than the heel. As we saw of Elias. Just not finding anything past that slope at the moment. Disappointing start for Mikhail Mauen. Couldn't quite make it work with that heel. Just for the seasoned competitors to keep pushing and improving as they as they reach the you know the latter years of their competition career. It's a really big ask. It's a lot of effort. 
Next rotation then, Arthur Lebris, 21 years old. Has got that first European Cup medal to his name alongside Camilla Moroni, who's been going so well recently. Second at the Dock Masters event, another sort of studio block S competition just recently. Seeing that a couple of times now, I think it's getting pinned on the left hand side. Got to drop down low and right, push the hips across, start standing up into that next sloper. We saw Luchka Rakovic ride over that foot and actually using the underside of those volumes. To yeah, pull you, across. You can, I think you can see where the chalk has been. Oh, so the first to pull back on. Arthur Labrie from France. Steady away through to that zone. Looks like the slightly taller climbers are in, enjoying that move to the zone a little bit easier. So you can hit the foot plant without too much rotation. This is where we saw Mikel Mauer and Mata trying to find something, opting to go off that right toe. Both athletes stepping up to the wall, probably the final attempt of their first boulder, the Studio Block Final 2024. Mata jumping off a right heel hook that time, seems to work for him. Camilla ah, Moroni really struggling in that position. Awkward little slip there. Here we are. Arthur is still on the boulder. Getting into the screw hole. That's a nice stand up. It's going to be a real risk move. Oh, sticks it with just 12 seconds to go. Arthur Lavery, can he finish this one off? Oh, yes. Casual at the top. Casual with a pair of screw holes in his hand. <laughs> Absolute legend walking out onto the mats or running out onto the mats. Philip Schenk. So close to making finals or well, with seventh position at the European Qualifier Combined Event Laval 2023. Really on form at the end of last year. Looking very casual on those initial sloping zone hold as well. Jesse Pills, one of just a few Austrians here at this event. Quickly opting for that right hand undercut on the volume just to help transition the weight onto the left hand a little bit. Oh, absolutely easy <laughs> for Jesse Pills. That was cruise mode up that boulder. Yeah, it definitely is an art to be in isolation and to not be affected by what's happening out there you've got to really focus on your own game some people just aren't affected by it some people have got headphones in lots of different ways everyone's different Ooh, wow. real nice method there from philip back on the boulder essentially static into that zone hold as well not Jumping up and rotating the feet. This time. Wow. Yes. That was amazing how slow that whole movement was then. Really nice. Great show from Philip Schenk. But If anyone were to put bets on this sport, Natalia Grossman, you'd definitely have a down for the win here today. So there is a lot of pressure on her shoulders to perform every opportunity she pulls onto the mats. And Zan Sudar, obviously being in the Slovenian team, as we heard from Andrzej earlier, and Katia Depovec, that it's just always pressure on the Slovenians to perform because the next best athlete is just around the corner. Talia Grossman just looking quite casual on the foot, but just trying to find something as Zan Sudar looks like he's on for the flash. Easy for both athletes. Simultaneous tops. Thank you very much, people. Let's move on to the next boulder. Yeah, fantastic demonstration of perfection there from both athletes, Natalie and Zan. Ilya Saragana Kruger from 
After a ridiculously good start on the first boulder. Luchka straight on, followed by Elias. Quick run and mantle onto the slab and swinger dingaling. <laughs> Luchka's first attempt wasn't too successful. Very different style from the swing and jump of the women's so to the men's, very static, pure footwork boulder after the hard mantle press start. She's actually making look quite straightforward, but it's this next section of trying to transition across these volumes. Ooh, look at how bad that is, and then just sliding down to that next toe hook. Oh, great leg power there from Elias. This guy's really looking the money tonight. And here we go, guys. You mentioned it, whether they would try this out, the go slow method. One thing the root setters are always dreading. They did faff about with that volume quite a lot right before the start to try and stop the athletes going statically across the wall. And we heard from the root setters on the mats with Nikki just before, very nervous that this might be a thing. Crimping the footholds currently here, Luchka Rakovic. Root setters be a bit disappointed, there's no hiding from that. As in the background, Elias is up. Ooh, and he's down again. Athletes do tend to follow the chalk a little bit as well. Let's see if you're going to try something different or stick with that method. There's loads of different screw-ons on that volume down there. None of them are really designed to be held. They're sort of blocking sort of slightly bent pieces of wood and stuff that you might be able to get something out of. Luchka clearly does prefer that static style. Pretty awful foothold, so it must be a bad handhold. Currently it's not working for us. You might be wise to switch it up and start trying the, the swing and jump. Yeah, I did have a touch on that, that little jib that she was holding with the right hand. It is, it's quite small, it's definitely not in cut. Now Elias making that step over to the zone. Nice and solid. Now he is eyeing up this last movement. It's completely static stand up on that zone hold. Required. Let's go back in the mix. Interestingly, he really hasn't tried the big swing and jump that much. Fully committing to this sort of snail across the bottom of these volumes. Can she make it work this time? It's kind of now or never, really. Almost over rocking over that left foot. Looks like she might be making it work. Does make it work. Used a lot of time in the process, but one more dynamic move to finish. What can she find? It's supposed to be a dynamic move anyway. Oh, just maybe rush that top section. Used a lot of time, Luchka, oh, and Elias Kruger doesn't get it done either. Both climbers pretty much off the last hold. Well, got the two young Spanish climbers back out on the mat. Guillermo going much slower into that first move rather than running and jumping into the press. Pretty hard way to start the boulder. Try and get his hips as close to the wall as possible to get up and over the mantle. Desperately try not to stand on your own fingers. Nice, putting the heel on, moving the hand, Interesting looking going, into the toe. Going left foot first rather than right foot. Root set has told me if anyone matches feet on there, they are ice cold, apparently. Super oh. casual, <laughs> just standing around on that stuff like it's ledges. Easier. Let's see, she looks like she's preferring that sort of swing and press. I think that's the case of trying to get the right speed on that move to get you enough speed to get you across, but then you want to be pausing the end of the swing to take that jib with the right hand too much momentum and you just keep going. Hard move to stop on. Mm, that's much closer. Yeah, a little bit slower. Guillermo really struggling in that first move. Has 
Azir does stick the swing across. Much quicker method than we saw from Lutschka. On the last move then. This is a brutal press <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh no. I think it's quite hard to get a run up on that slab. It, there's not that much distance between the edge of the mat and the, the wall. So you've only got a couple of steps to get some momentum. Yeah, you need to ask the crowd just to step back for a minute. <laughs> I'm coming in. Coming through. <laughs> Both climbers back on, making progress this time. Different here from Martinez. Opting for the high feet. a very quick boulder if you do it in a dynamic way still time 20 seconds hopefully you won't rush it that was better so smooth getting the venga from the crowd trying that high foot method let's go five seconds stuck Ooh. in two hands two seconds left on the clock what a fantastic finish she's ecstatic with that one Mikel first underway, stepping up onto that start hold there quite steadily. Black tape above him is marking out of bounds for the wooden beam in the roof. He has no handholds as he steps onto this first volume. The matched feet does look like it could work as well for the men's final. Let's see what he does this time with the feet. Oh, he's going again with the left. Obviously thought he was quite close previously, making sure he doesn't use the little holes in the wall, the T-nut holes for his fingers, that's not allowed. Just trying to rotate the left foot around to make space for the right. Very risky foot swap. Wow, beautiful. Really nice. Lowering down onto that little jib, the white jib now with his left foot. In a position where he can take a moment, I think. Just Load it. Extreme walking, this boulder. <sighs> See, the head just nodded as he went for the foot swap there. Potentially... Just lost focus very slightly on the foot swap. Straight back in, 1.30 on the clock. Plenty of time for him to put this slab to bed. It's quite a slow boulder though, that's why he's not really rested between attempts. Oof. Just a lot of rubber there. Yeah. New pair of shoes. Yeah, he wants to give that a brush. There he goes. That's how they're getting on on this swing and jump. Trying to sort of pause halfway through that move. Hold your breath as you go for the foot swap. Oh, he's held it. It's done the foot swap. That's brilliant. Now he needs to lower down so slowly onto this little jib. Finds it. It's two extremes. You want a soft shoe for one triangle and then a stiff one for that jib. Just indicating to the judges that he has secured the zone there. Very footwork in and the foot and swap again. Have to go down and touch the zone to see, get that point. It's close here for oh. Oh. Maybe it was the time pressure. Nothing for Ayala Karem. Mela Maroney in the women's. Trying something different straight away.
has got that second place at the Boulder World Championships in 2021, amongst many other great results at the IFSC, four times Italian champion, so she's got plenty of pedigree. Maroni. Also didn't really like the look of the swing and jump. Let's have another look now. Looks like they're not quite uh, reading that swing and jump at the moment. We obviously saw from Mizia that you can pounce all the way across into the final position, the zone hold all the way over to the left. Maybe it's that chalk that we mentioned earlier from Luchka Rakovic has put onto that little screw and that might be confusing them slightly. Yeah, there was no chalk on that in, in observation. And when we looked at the boulder, Starting to wonder if it is possible to stop. But with such a little amount of time, just four minutes, you have to make quick decisions, commit to something. At what point do you start trying something else? Artur eventually standing up on this slab. through the step through the quick sort of stamp oh he landed it nicely strength in your zone. big toe to be able to hold that position he looks really confident on the step throughs here Artie Lebrue oh no the wobbler looks like he didn't quite get fully flat on the slab with his chest left arm came out a little bit and it just carried on taking him off the boulder Camilla back on. That's a little bit better. Just goes for the sort of lander. The, the low land. Method number three go. on that jump. I actually quite like it when there's different methods emerges on a boulder. Not everyone does it in the same way. Shows different athletes, different abilities. This is the right foot method that we've seen. High risk. Looks like she's going to try and do it statically. Camilla Moroni, one hand on the finish. Yes, makes it work. That looks like a better method. Marta Labrie looks really confident on the slabs at the moment, has to be said. Trying something slightly different this time rather than the uh, step through. Previously stepped through to that volume with his right foot. He's going to go for the foot match this time. A bit more control. Such composure. Let's go. Oh, an absolute display of slab climbing technique from Arthur Lebrie. 21 years old. Such composure in front of that crowd. Yeah, super impressive. Huh? Isolation zone is just behind the big screen you can see to the right-hand side of the guys there. They're going to know that things have been topped just by the reactions from the crowd outside. You see, historically, we'd prefer to generally have a look at some static methods, but uh, times have changed a lot since Jesse was uh, competing. Obviously, has had to adapt to the dynamic style. He's got really good at it. Philip a bit unsure as to which foot to go with first. Chosen that left foot first. This is the hard swap. Couldn't quite land it. Just searching around. It just looks like there could be multiple different methods now. With chalk all over that lower volume, all over the footholds. Philip looking to back up his impressive send of boulder number one. Going for that quick two step. Mm. Hard to land. Jessica Pilt's back on for another go. Looks 
Seemingly actually a bit closer with the full dynamic method. Good, good a camera angle to see how bad that first triangle on the black volume is and what a bad angle it is at. Yes, easily in the end for Jessie Peel's really got the tra trajectory of the legs facing where she wanted to go. Direction of travel was perfect that time. Let's see what she makes of this top move. Seemingly not immediately obvious when you get up there. Will she go for the big cross through method? Or the high right foot? Having a look. That's what the root setters were wanting. That's how it read to me. It's the last minute for both climbers. Yes, he's got that first move dialed now. So it's moved quickly through that. Different method potentially here from Jesse. She was not happy with the previous method, felt nowhere near it. Is she going to try? It's going to have to happen now. Goes for the left hand cross through, palm down. Flip, meanwhile, stomp. managed to land it and hold it. Gonna have to move fast now on a very so slow slab. Oof. Good foot swap. He needs to move. Three seconds on the clock. Nothing for Philip Schenk. Not quite sure what's happened with Jesse. There we go. Looks like she did go for the match on the left hand, like we've seen successfully on the other shake of the head, probably <laughs> just saying, how long did I try that before? quickly Natalia learns this movement two goes a bit closer There's quite a lot of similar footwear choice here for the guys on this slab at the moment super softs super, super softs yeah really pushing the heels down and the rubber really do the work really need to get some major contact on these Slopey volumes. Sounded up, moving quite confidently at the moment. Really little hesitation on these terrible foot swaps. Interesting if you can make that work, that would be some serious leg power. Ooh, maybe just rush the stand, the stand up. Natalia with the high foot now, chalking up, doing the match. Big move for her to the top. Solid with one hand. Two hands. Big real, smile. Real nice from a couple of interesting storylines. Zan back on. He's got plenty of time on the clock to do this. It's come pretty close already. Can really see how bad even that first hole is, how slopey it is. That first hold. Cross leftwards. Triangle, triangle, jib. That's great this. You just don't need to watch the climbing. You just need to watch the feet on this ball oh, Come go, on. Goes fast. <laughs> Heartbreaker at the top. The top. Shake of the head must have been because it was out of time. You see how Martinez and Natalia Grossman, the only two with two tops at the moment in the women's category. Zan is back on now. 34 seconds on the clock. Having looked so confident on this, he's starting to fail. It's going to have to. It's going to be really short on time now. It's not going to happen, most likely. Everything. Wheels are falling off everywhere here. 
for Zan Sidar. Wheel spinning all of a sudden on the first volume. Might have looked to have gone for the rebound off the wall for the first attempt there. Bit of a slam. Seemingly laughed it off and has another go. This is this sort of Superman press and blind jump here now from Elias. Blind jump out to the... Blind and accurate as well. That's yeah, it's quite like a small hold in between those two jibs. Yeah, it's almost a pocket feature created in the end. It's definitely blind because you can hear he's jumping and just kind of do that basically find yeah. something that it lines up with now he's trying now he's stepped in there and he's, yeah trying to get it lined up and to see it from the perspective he will be in underneath the roof and then locate the hold completely blind Let's see how accurate he is this time a little better seems to hit it quite well maybe not quite in First look at women's number three then, Luchka Rakovic, currently down in sixth position. Another really technical bit of slab climbing. Lots of body position, a lot of work on the toes. To transition off to the right-hand side, that's the move. The root setters are looking for the catch to the zone with the left toe. Nice from Elias. To try in here. He's just gone full Hollywood all of a sudden. That will do. It's not what they had in mind, but it works. <laughs> Only 50% of the way through the boulder, really, though, a long way to go. Not just a long way to go along the boulder, a long way to go up to that next hold. Here we go again. Elias lines it up into that slam dunk quite easily that time. Fast on the switch. Into the two finger undercut. So much quicker through at that time, but it's got to be with only 36 seconds on the clock. Quali's yesterday semis is starting to take effect, so it gives an opportunity to focus on Luchka. Can she secure the zone? body just rotates away from the wall as she pings across to that scrum. It's like this pointing final so far unfortunately for Luchka Rakovic. Showing great composure just 18 years old in front of this big crowd. Such a good close-up view of what this bowler number three really has in store. Some tensiony slab work with a risk move going over to the right-hand side. Another lean across and toe catch. Hits the toe, oh. hits the zone really well there. Amazing first attempt this. You're climbing really well, great composure on this boulder. Switches around the arete. It's looking great. From the IFSC Youth Champion from 2023. Looks like she needs to find the right place for that right foot in order to get the left around the corner. She has done. And oh, that pinch. Three. Stand up. Not an easy finish, though. More powerful leg work. Let's go with you. Come on. One hand on the finishing hold. Oh. Two hands top. That is an amazing flash. Great work from the 18-year-old. Showing proper class. Youngest athlete. This man is sending a really good squad of young climbers through to this one. Trying different method altogether, essentially just 
launching himself into the floor there. That yeah, we've, we've not seen him on this bold yet, and so. Observation's always so interesting. Looks like he's going to stick with that face in method. He's going for a sort of this mad flying Gaston with his left hand. Yeah, the at packing yes. everybody in. I think, yeah, he's just showing his youth a bit there. Not really trying to change the method. <laughs> he wants to get on with it. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's go. Hasn't really been able to get his teeth into any boulders yet, Mikel Mauer. Stuck into it. Pull hard. This is the opportunity here. Ooh la la. He'll be thinking that. Hurt my back a little bit. Wiggling his right shoulder. Really fierce. Push into that. Didn't like it at all. Yeah, he didn't want to go with the... Got to be a little bit careful pre-season. You don't want to wreck yourself for the upcoming events uh, Karim nicely through that starting position I mean obviously these athletes are pretty tired as well by this stage big tour yesterday semi-final this morning being a bit taller it looks like he's really f hitting that right hand palm full force quite uncomfortable through the wrist through the palm and obviously in the shoulder and back over on the left hand side now Ayala Starting to make some progress. Now um, eyeballs it. Eyeballs it, then missed it by a country mile. Completely blind that jump around the roof. Still loads of time. Well, sometimes the magic can happen in those last few seconds. Mikhail really needs to pull something out of the bag here. Oh, that's a little bit closer. Interestingly, being quite a bit taller there, Mikhail Mauer. When he jumps, he's really got to hoik his legs up a little bit so they don't scrape across the mat. Yeah, it's quite close to the uh, to the ground there. Let's have a look this time. Very frustrating move. Mikhail Karem just keeps hitting the zone but rotating out as the toe hook drops in. It's really sloping side pull at the zone hold. Izzy Martinez made it look pretty positive to be honest with you. Yeah, she did it quite easy that move. Doesn't mean it is though. Ayala's back on again. Seems to catch that toe. Oh, that's a little bit better. This is letting all her body go to the right and, and it's just carrying her off. He's really not got his bearings on where that hold is over the lip that you can't see. He was a mile away from hitting it then. Both athletes really struggling with these boulders at the moment. That's more like it. The crowd goes wild to that. Got a hustle here now. No. Oh, he saves it. Oh, look at that. Two fingers on that volume. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, by Ola Karem. Snuck up on us with the top. What an amazing top there for Ayala. Where did that come from? Got to be on an absolute fly here at Studio Block. It's pretty close to hitting the hold then. Like we said before, it's completely blind, but yeah, he was over the top of it. 
Really good positive start from Maroney. We know this is really the move, though, the move of the boulder. Left toe doesn't quite find the under. Slightly different calibre of athlete. But opted to pretty much leave it as it was. Real quick turnaround between semi-finals and finals here at the Studio Blockmasters. Really eyeballing that toe hook. Really has to try and line it up with something. Much better. A little look down. Gave her a little help, I think, to finding it. Press with that right arm to release the toe hook now. Camilla Moroni looking for a slightly different method here. A high stand up, that's really nice. Potentially pushing herself into third here, depending on the number of attempts it's taken. Can she finish this one off? Yeah, really nice technique. Great experience shown there from Camilla Moroni. Arthur opting for the facing in method. Oh. And it works for him. This could be huge now for Arthur Labrie. Finish this one's off, he finishes the comp off. One minute to find something in this top section. Nobody has really secured anything past the zone. This guy is really on fire here at Studio Blockmaster Zone. It's a really awkward sort of drag of the two fingers of the right hand looks horrific. Gonna have to be fast on this. He's got 16 seconds on the clock. Can't get the jump again. Needs to walk away from that. Save it for the last bowler because he's really in the hunt here. Mathieu Labrie. I'd like to say that I'm expecting Jessica to get a top on this, and that was the curse. That yeah. one move into that toe hook is quite hard to find. The left hand side of the volume sort of cuts away. She was really close to hitting it well. Very quickly back on for Jessica and off again. That's better. Seemingly have no issues getting through this initial section, so she won't be too concerned at this stage about this toe catch, I don't think. Probably knows that the root setters have put on quite a low percentage, high risk move. That's nice. much better, left, caught it then. Left toe doing a lot of the work to hold that move together. Philip has worked his way through the underside of that roof section, but nobody getting really anywhere on this second half of the boulder at the moment. Let's see what Philip Schenk can make of it. As Jesse Pills looking really in control at the moment, opting to stay on that left hand side. This is good from Jesse, keeping herself in the hunt here. Can she finish it off? It's not totally over with the feet. Ah, oh, yes. Superb, as always, from Jesse Pills. Breathing quite heavily there. Took a bit of effort, that attempt. Only got one minute on the clock now, but he does have to pull on. Otherwise, he's not going to have enough time to climb the boulder. Into the press. Must be pretty special to do this in 30 seconds, though. Philip Schenk calls it a day. It was the final person to try this third boulder. It'd be a big surprise if she didn't do it, to be fair. 
struggled on the slab a little bit in the first boulder of the semi-final. Really technical slab. This one's a little bit different. Oh, easy. Yeah, good technique there. Just a re little reach down just to check where the good spot of that volume is. Nailed it really oh, well. Uh, jumped into the high foot as well. Absolute display here from Natalia Grossman. Look at that left heel, how much flex there is through the ankle to push through, keep the heels down, friction through the shoes. A rapid top from Natalia Grossman. Super solid there. Really impressive skills. So quick. It's like it's it. Gets it sorted. It looks like he's heel working on top of his fingers at the moment. It's never going to be a nice place to be. Try and get those out of there. Oh, that looks grim. He's released the fingers, rolling over to get the zone now. Looks like he's got some beans in the bank for this. Did that release quite well? This is a move. We've not seen it done yet. Interestingly, switching the left hand to the far right hand side of that crack feature. Getting himself in the best possible position. Well, that was close. Second time's a charm, maybe. Getting the fingers really deep into that lock. Oh. Fired up for that next screw on a couple of times. This is going to be it for Zan Sudar. The clock run right down. He's currently sitting in second position. Does he have enough time to finish this boulder off? Nobody progressing past the first half of the third boulder. He nails the jump. Completely blind jump that. He needs to move fast. 20 seconds on the clock now. into the zone. Everybody wants to see him to the top of this boulder. Remains unclimbed. Ten seconds. Not going to happen. Boulder was too hard this time. Close call for the root setters. Elias Aragada Kruger. Men's number four. Potentially new move territory. And Luchka Rakovec from Slovenia. See what she makes of this sort of crazy section on women's number four. Will she go for the feet first, the campus through? Oh, what a move that is. Super exciting finish here. Hopefully at the Studio Block Masters, Roots has taken big risks to finish this one off, looking for a big show. Spectacular finish. Jump out right to jump back left. I've seen it work, but only on social media. Haven't seen it in a comp as far as I can remember. Especially not studio block masters. Especially not into a slot. <laughs> It'd be super looks, cool if it works. Looks pretty spicy going back left. Pulling on, jumping right. No doubt the Japanese team are doing that for breakfast, but we'll see how this lot get on with it. As this is a super cool move as well. Come on, let's go. The powerful cross under. Probably not going to be able to win this one with the number of attempts that he's using up. Looks good as Boulder. Doesn't look any easier to be honest. Absolutely savage finish here to the Studio Blockmasters. Camera man nearly took one in the grill there. Ah, oh, the campus cross under is classic. Elias going all the way to the death. 35 seconds in for Luchko with a big cross under the oh, sticks it. Oh no. What a move. Such power. The lock off strength there from Luchko was incredible. Looks like they're both going in for the final action. For them at the studio block must. <laughs> Maybe I think he's at the soft play at the moment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing around all over the place. Both climbers giving it their last attempt. Great show though from Luchka Rakovic. Elias Aragada Kruger. Take it down to the wire. Exactly. So 
Such different levels of experience between Natalia and Izio as well. Interesting, the root sets have tried really hard to make sure you can't match that. The women's division especially known for trying to find a match absolutely anywhere they possibly can. Solid with the right toe hook. The match didn't look pretty, but it's very functional. Izio just really sort of climbs naturally, just flows. Looks like she's going to drop into a figure of four there for a second. How to unwind out of this now. Good foot above Good her head fight, there, like but three, three meters off the mark. Oh. Good fight. A top would be massive. Yeah, we should try and match this one and end up in the same position as last time. Yes, is the answer to that. The piano match. Not really what the rotators were looking for, but might work. Some sort of weird foot lock between. Oh, oh she's held it. Yes. This could be incredible here. From the young Spanish athlete, just 18 years old. The top holds good. The penultimate holds good. It's the Martinez to pile on the pressure. To Natalia Grossman, four tops. What a round! Unknown to many before this competition got underway. Izia Martinez. She was super happy with that. Move up a place, but it's not been his night tonight, Mikhail Mauer. Not his night, but will this be his boulder? Not with a start like that. Alakaram looking for the, the big cross under campus. And for more of a swing rather than a high left foot that we saw from Luchka. Movements take quite a long time to unlock. The direction of force, the body movement, the legs. This looks a little bit better. What's interesting about that is the right hand volume that they're jumping to is so bad that they immediately have to go into the next move as Alakaram get much closer that time. Sloping volume is it's found a bit more technical way of doing that first move, but it immediately bounces. That's close. Yeah, getting closer. Then that one, two, three, heads your head back left. This time, come on, Io. And one of them's a slot. Oh, power! What a move. This was the way we saw them testing it at the last minute. Oh, just drops the foot out of the way to get oh. the hand. Ayala Karem looking to finish this competition off in absolute style and does. Superb all the way to the end. 22 years old. Backs up that 10th at the World Championship in Bern last year. With a great start to the 2024 season. Three tops for her. Mikhail Makar back on. Oh, he just... GoPro stays where it is. Starting to get the measure. Come on, Michael. <laughs> he looks absolutely <laughs> cooked. <laughs> His goose is cooked. He's going again. <laughs> going in for another one. What a show from Mikhail Malham. <laughs> nothing left. Absolutely nothing but a great effort. Waves to the crowd. Crowd very appreciative of his efforts. Slightly different starting foot position there from Artia. Looks like he's going left straight away here, trying something different. Chinned himself on that first attempt. <laughs> Oops. Camilla Maroney now ready to do this. Cross through. She's looking to put the feet out first. No. Oh, Solid what through there. What a move. Oh. 
can really see the fatigue starting to set in. Once you're trying to completely ignore that right-hand side of that move, kind of fancy he's just going straight to the left-hand move. Yeah, it looks like he considers that thing on the right to be a foothold, not a handhold, regardless of the shark. Camilla back on. Cameras at the ready. For a swing and a camper. Playing for pride a little bit here. Could squeak a bronze medal potentially. Getting close though on attempts now. Camilla back on the boulder, the crowd really giving us some support. Total fade out now, she's totally done, but it's been amazing to watch. Camilla Moroni from Italy. After the brief finish of the fourth boulder, still in first place has the potential with this one, as does Philip Schenk. It's a hard move through that midsection. What has Natalio got left? But for now, it's Jesse Pills to try and push for a podium place. Really digging that right hand in. You can see that isn't that Great to hold with the right hand, she's really crimping hard on it. That was close. How on earth did Izzy Martinez match that hold? Jesse back on. Drilling the fingers into that slot for the right hand. That's oh, much better. The power. The strength. Oh, oh, just went a bit too far. You know what they say, guys, if in, day, if in doubt, face out. <laughs> <laughs> I think said no coach ever. <laughs> if in doubt, pull harder. <laughs> Doesn't work on this boulder because I don't think there's anything to pull on currently. That's grim. It's quite a long way to the first hold oh the little run and actually though. hold did he actually touch that with his left hand starting position come on jesse jessica back on drilling that right hand into that quite small crimp one move done yes. she hits it this time what a border this is let's go jesse a provisional second nicely done it's a great show from jesse pills absolute class 2018 lead world champion compete on the bouldering scene at a really high level but more oh! commonly known as a lead climber that was so close this I think time he's on the zone here philip crowd just lifts all of a sudden they want it they want it to go down 15 seconds. Foot flip. Got one more attempt, I think. To put himself in second with a zone. It's oh. gonna go in with five seconds. Oh. 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 Give this guy another couple of seconds and he would have done that move. It's a great effort from Philip Schenk. Are we going to go out with a bang? Natalia quickly into action. Looking oh. super strong through that first move. Ooh. And again, the second one latches it. Close though. A little bit baggy on that hole, but gets it together in this last section. Natalia Grossman. A different class so far here this weekend. Rocks it out somehow off a high left hill. 
Natalia Grossman, first time at Studio Block Masters. First win at Studio Block Masters with the flash. Absolute talent. Final. Sets up the IFSC season for another round of Natalia versus Yanya. Four tops, perfect round, really, for her. As it is Zan Sudar. Ooh, he's paused a little bit. This is good from Zan. Manages to slow that section down. This is massive. Mm. Not. One minute of this competition left. Time to produce some magic here from Zan. He just sort of slips into that first move. 20 seconds. Now or never. Maybe in the, <laughs> some magic in the next couple of seconds. He'll be out of time, but maybe he'll have a go at the move anyway. Not happening. Nothing on that boulder for any of the six. For the first time Emma, uh, ever, congratulations. Natalia Grossman uh, for winning the Studio Blockmasters 2024. Uh, are you happy about the round? Yeah, I, like the pressure was on. I knew I had to do all the boulders, so I was really proud of my mental state and that I was able to just stay calm the whole time. What about the powerful boulder? Did you find a powerful boulder you enjoyed during the finals? Yeah, I really enjoyed the power. I think I was most psyched on the second boulder just because that's kind of something I've been working on lately, is more of the swingy, jumpy kind of thing. <laughs> uh, do you think you have any weaknesses, except for the swingy, jumpy thingies? Oh, yeah, <laughs> but I I'm working on them, so. Okay, but you w don't want to tell me? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, tell me about bowler number four. Did you have any, like, what were your thoughts uh, during observation or after observation about bowler number four? Yeah, looking at it in like the preview, I think I was most psyched because it just looked powerful. Uh, but I have to say that after all the rounds and like climbing for four hours yesterday, to end on a powerful boulder, I could definitely feel a little bit of fatigue. But it wasn't it wasn't enough not to do it. Uh, so I was psyched. <laughs> a little bit of fatigue. Uh, so you will win 4,000 euros, which is more than at any IFSC World Cup, as far as I know, you could win. Um, <laughs> I didn't know it was that much. <laughs> and they told me 4,000. If it's not 4,000, then I'm in big trouble. But I'm pretty sure it's 4,000. Uh, what's what else is happening this year? Uh, the highlight is already over, but I heard there's like something else might be coming up for you. Yeah, the Olympics. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about it lately. But honestly, before coming to Europe, I hadn't really thought about it. Uh, not focusing on it too much. Just enjoying the present moment training to become the best climber I can be and we'll see where I'm at in July or August. <laughs> we wish you all the best and just one last question, will we see each other again next year? I hope so. <laughs> Here I mean. <laughs> okay, enjoy Paris, uh, enjoy uh, the winner ceremony, thank you for joining us here. Natalia Grossman. <laughs> thank you. Artur, Nikki, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Well, so very good. <laughs> How I can bad. Uh, Arthur, tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you and where are you from? So I'm 21 years old and I'm from Massy near Paris. Oh, beautiful. And when uh, did you have the idea to come to the Studio Blockmasters and win this competition? I always want to come here, but uh, it's always uh, on the weekend with the French election, so I can't uh, come here. But this year is perfect timing, so uh, I, I, I will come and uh, and see what, what is this competition. <laughs> and can you tell me now, what is this competition like? Is it good, is it bad, is it just 4,000 euros? The biggest pool of prize money, bigger than the IFSC comes, but tell me, please, tell me, what do you feel now? I'm very, very happy, amazing competition. The format of the qualification is uh, very good, I, I love this. And uh, for semi-final, it's, my, uh, it's good for me. I, uh, I climb with my style and no, I don't, uh, yes, I, I climb like I, uh, like I said, and 
just enjoy enjoy the competition. What's your favorite style? Slab climbing? Me, uh, yes, I'm not bad in slab climbing and in physical, it's uh, it's okay. Did you have any favorite boulder out of this round? Sorry? Any favorite boulder out of this round or the semi-final? Pick one. Competition. Uh, I don't remember the semi-final, but in final, I love the, the first one. The first one? Yeah. The first one. Yes. And for the show, the last one is very good, but I, I didn't move, so... <laughs> Did you not see the hold on the right side? You didn't use it? Oh, yes. I, I tried one time to jump, but it's so bad for me, so I... I uh, say uh, I try to just jump uh, directly on the on the zone. Too too far for me. Well, it was definitely enough for you to make you uh, to give you the win. Um, will we see each other next? Uh, like, will you come back here next year? Yes, of course. I will come next year if it's possible. I will come. Uh, we will talk to the French Federation uh, about the selection process and that they will reschedule the selection process because Studio Blockmasters 2025 will be quite big and important, so you will be here. Uh, any, last, you. any last words? Anyone you want to greet back at home, your parents? Yes, thanks to my parents, my, my sponsor and my entrepreneur for all this job. Uh, it's amazing. We want to thank you for the great show, for the great climbing. Congratulations again and uh, see you again next year. Arthur. Thank you so much. Bye.